friends and welcome back. I'm Kelly Bransford if you're new here and today I am starting to decorate for Christmas and I want to bring you guys along as I do some of the decorating in my house and share with you some budget friendly DIYs and different things that you can do in the house to decorate for Christmas that are not going to break the bank. We're getting started in the living room and I'm keeping it very minimal in here mostly because I have a one-year-old running around and he kind of like flips this room upside down every day anyways so I don't want to create more work for myself. I'm throwing down a holiday pillow that I got at Target years ago for like five dollars in the dollar spot. A seasonal pillow is one of the easiest ways to bring a little decor into your living room and if you shop around you can get them for a not very expensive. I also wanted to bring in a holiday throw however these can be very expensive but I made this red plaid one for about ten dollars so I'm gonna show you how you can make your own. You're going to start by getting two yards of fleece. I shop at Joann Fabrics when they either have the fleece 60% off, which they do quite a bit, or use one of the Joann coupons. I will put a link down below. Then all you're going to do is, is at two ends, you're going to cut up tassels. I would say that I'm cutting probably about two to three inches in. Then you're going to knot three of those tassels together to create your fringe. And you guys, that's literally all you have to do. And it's just such a simple and easy way to bring a little bit of holiday pattern pattern and color into your living room. I picked up this at the Dollar Tree this year. I feel like they had some really great sort of like hanging holiday thing. And I love these because obviously it's a dollar, but they're just easy things to kind of like pop up anywhere to make it feel a little bit more festive. You can like literally take something off of your wall, like where you usually have something already hanging and pop this up instead. I have an empty spot here on the back of my door actually. And there's already a nail here, so it's like a perfect spot to Pop this guy up. Another thing that I love that's super affordable is just having a chalkboard like the one behind me. This is something you can change out, change out for every single season. Just keep your eyes open for a big frame like this at the Goodwill or another thrift shop. You can get them very affordable and then just using some chalkboard spray paint, you're gonna spray the back like cardboard piece and then you can use this year after year after year. My tip is to search for like Christmas chalkboards on Pinterest and you'll see a bajillion different sayings and different like lettering and decorations that's going to make it a lot easier for you to sort of copy what you're doing. Um, and then I use a pencil to stencil out what I'm going to do. So I thought this is going to be really cool because I set up my camera to film the entire thing of me like hand lettering this chalkboard and then my tripod like tilted while I was doing it and I had no idea. So now you're looking at my ceiling. Not really what I was going for, but this is what I created on my chalkboard. And then I just decorated mine with like a fun little festive pom-pom. I actually created this probably eight to 10 years ago and I used to use it on my Christmas tree. All you need is a bunch of pom-poms, which you can get very, very affordable. And then using a needle and thread, I just thread these. And I've been using this pom-pom garland year after year after year. And it's such an easy decor piece that costs not very much money at all. Use it on your tree, use it on wreaths, hang it on shelves, hang it on your mantle, put it up on your chalkboard. All right, we're gonna move on to decorating my Christmas tree. I wanna share a couple easy tricks with you that are super budget, budget friendly for decorating your tree. So the first thing is a DIY that I shared in another video and it is these glitter bulbs. And I just shared them in a recent Dollar Tree video. So I will link that video down below. But just to quickly explain how to do it, you actually just use clear plastic ornament bulbs glitter and a little bit of floor pledge and that helps the glitter stick to the inside of the plastic. So I'm a little bit sparse on ornaments just in general. So I'm going to make some felt ornaments. Okay, so to make felt ornaments, obviously you just need to start with felt, which is not very expensive. You can get sheets of it for about 30 cents at Michael's. And then I'm just gonna start by cutting out like some ornament shapes. And you wanna cut two of each shape because you're gonna end up sewing these together. And then using just a little bit of thread, I'm just gonna like put some designs on these. I am not like a sewer. I, I don't have any like special sewing skills. I didn't do anything crazy. I had some X's and some V's and just like some little designs and shapes. The whole point is they're kind of supposed to look cutesy and homemade. Then using thinner thread, I'm just going to sew these together. And I wanted to see the stitch marks cause I kind of wanted like that homemade look. So I purposely went for um, thread in different color, but you obviously could use thread in the same color as your felt if you kind of want to hide the outside stitch. Then using just a little bit of polyfill, which I have like in my craft bin, um, I'm going to fill these up. You honestly could use like tissue paper or newspaper or whatever you want, just something to kind of fill these up and make them look a little bit more puffy. Then sew the last little bit in and add a little bit of string so that you can hang it. And then that's it. 
Also, these are really great if you need gifts. I actually ended up making these ones, which are um, Miles' little handprint. And, and again, it's supposed to look cutesy and homemade. You don't need to be like a professional at embroidering names. I actually like messed up at first and I was able to just like cut it off and like redo the, the M and the I. And then these are so cute. I'm gonna give this one to Miles' great grandma. Such an affordable gift. I love, love, love this idea. Okay, so I wanted to create a garland to add to my tree just because it was looking a little bit bare, but a lot of garlands can get very very expensive that I was seeing online and I decided to opt for a felt garland because felt is very affordable um, and so all I did was take pieces of felt in different colors obviously I went for a more colorful theme and I cut strips that were probably about two to three inches long then just using some yarn that I had I'm just gonna knot these onto the string I created a garland that was probably about 15 to 20 feet long and I would say that I ended up using somewhere between 12 to 18 sheets of felt, maybe 20. So at the end of the day, this garland only ended up costing me maybe seven or eight dollars. I love that I was able to get the garland look on my tree without breaking the bank because all of the other garlands I looked at that were this big and this full were much more expensive than this. And it was a super easy project to do. It's one of those, like I like to call it a TV project because you can just sit in front of the TV and like watch a show and do it. Okay, let's move on to the bottom of our tree. Now this is my first year ever having a fake tree. We actually were originally gonna replace it with a real tree when we got closer to Christmas time, but we've actually fallen in love with this fake tree. With a one-year-old, it's actually pretty great. Now this tree looks really real, but the bottom of it gives it away. So we definitely need a tree skirt here. So what I did is I went to Joanne Fabrics and I got a yard of faux fur. And then all I'm going to do is drape this around my tree. It's just sort of like a really affordable, easy tree skirt. I feel like the fur always just feels like it looks a lot more expensive than it is. Some of the really cheap tree skirts, like in my opinion, look really cheap. And I feel like this does not. Okay, so I wanted to bring a little Christmas into my kitchen. I decided I wanted to put wreaths on my kitchen cabinets. But when you look around for mini wreaths, they're either not very nice looking or they're pretty expensive and I needed five of them. So I actually found this really great DIY from, I will link her channel below that I used. I think her name was Kate's Creates, but now I can't remember off the top of my head, but I like then binged a bunch of her videos and she's very cool and her DIYs are really awesome. So all you need to do is you're gonna start by taking some cardboard. We all got lots of Amazon boxes hanging around this time of year, let's be honest. So cut out the size that you need and then cut out the circle on the inside. Then you're going to take strips of the extra cardboard and you're just gonna hot glue this to the center so that you're not creating a totally flat wreath. This is gonna bring the garland like up so you have a nice round look so it looks like a real wreath. I spray paint into mine with a dark green spray paint. Then you're going to need garland. You want the garland that's like more malleable, that's not on any wire, it's just sort of like on a string. I got 50 feet of mine for I think six or seven dollars at Walmart. Anyways, hot glue this onto the back of the circle you created and you're just gonna wrap it all the way around your cardboard. And now you have your wreath and you can decorate it kind of however you wanted. And then using just some simple red ribbon, I'm going to fix this onto my kitchen cabinet. So my trick for putting things onto your cabinet or even onto your door is to use a command hook upside down on the opposite side of the door. Then you're just gonna string your wreath through the ribbon and you're gonna like take it up over the top of the cabinet and then clip it to the um, upside down command hook on the other side. And then that's it. I love how these came out. I feel like they make the kitchen so festive and fun. A final really affordable trick that I wanna share with you guys that I actually did last year is a way to make your fake garland look more full and look more real. So a fake garland is obviously a great option because you can year, use it year after year after year. So once you've bought it, you can keep using it. But sometimes it can look a little bit fake. And when you have real garland, it really does look super nice. So my trick is get some real trimmings, whether you just trim them off the back of your tree if you have a real tree at home, or just like, go outside and trim a little bit of garland off of a tree you have outside and then just use this to fill in around your fake garland. This is immediately going to make it look more full, but it's also going to make it look a lot more real and nice. So it just kind of takes it from like a fakey looking garland to a much more like upscale, fancy, like a fancy garland. All right, friends, that does it for this video. Thank you for decorating with me. I hope that some of these tips gave you some ideas of ways that you can decorate for Christmas without breaking the bank this year. As always, thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I will link some other awesome Christmas affordable videos down below for you, and I will see you all in my next video.